Today is the first bike day in this spring. I've, I mean, yeah, okay, we, we sometimes we'll see one or two during the snow fly time, but um, today is the day I've seen the, the most bikes ever yet this year. Um, also seems to be a lot of mopeds. It's kind of weird. Ooh, good spot. Where? Right there. The side spot. See it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi, how are you? You're probably not going to take the handicap spot, so I will. Okay, that is that. Let's go. All right, Bob, I couldn't resist. Summer Waves 3D pool with free 3D goggles. Um, it's long enough for me to lay down in, and so uh, I think this is probably my summer vacation. And the fourth thing that I've learned doing 15 days of logging is simple consistency. Uh, I've had a writing project going since last November, actually the book I started in NaNoWriMo, um, I'm still working on it, but and so I'm getting some consistency from that. But the vlogging project for this past 15 days has taught me that, it, or has reinforced or brought that idea home, I need to put something out every day. Unfortunately, and I, I think everybody's probably guilty of this, but unfortunately I have been guilty of, I put stuff out just to put it out instead of putting it out because it's good and people need to see it. Not all the time, but I have done that a couple of times. So uh, there's, there's pros and cons on the whole consistency thing. Okay, one more, then we're done. I have learned incremental changes. I am one of those people who is prone to say, well, if I don't do it all right the first time and it's perfect, then I'm just not going to do it. And unfortunately, I have shot myself in the foot more than once doing stuff like that. Whereas this particular challenge this past 15 days has taught me incremental challenges do work. Um, when I, I, I practiced for a few days before I started the challenge, and so I, I started doing things incrementally at that point. But, so for instance, um, one day I would, you know, I just filmed everything, you know, one cut. And then the next day I kind of broke it up into multiple cuts and some jump cuts so that it, it, uh, it flowed a little bit better. And then the next day I put in the titles that you see at the front of the video that have my name and the SSS Veda Challenge in Duluth, Minnesota, blah, blah, blah. And then the day after that, I put up some channel art. And the day after that, uh, I started implementing the, the cool, funny little clips at the start of my video, you know, the 15 to 45 seconds of something funny, which I'm sorry has not been very funny recently. But nonetheless, I'm, I'm trying to get a structure and I'm trying to get, uh, I'm trying to get a, a standardized, I don't want to say a standardized plan because that sounds really boring, but I'm trying to make incremental changes that then therefore stick so that my videos are better and better. Uh, something I've been experimenting with the past few days has been Facebook. Uh, I, I put up a couple of full videos to Facebook and that takes like an hour to upload. Then I found an app that'll do it for me pretty quickly, but then um, Amy Schmidauer from Savvy Sexy Social uh, gave me a really super good idea. Just put up, just find the 15 seconds of the the uh, the coolest 15 seconds of your of your of your daily vlog, and then just put that up as a teaser with a link back to YouTube. That's a much smarter idea because then I'm getting the YouTube views instead of you know, the Facebook views, which don't matter. And I'm I'm getting people to come back over to YouTube and, and subscribe there. So all of these are incremental changes that I think are making me better and better every time. And that is a, a pretty powerful lesson, actually. Okay, Bob, that about wraps up my day. Uh, if you liked today's vlog, uh, please give it a thumbs up. I want to thank you for stopping by and watching my vlog. 
And uh, if you have any uh, comments or suggestions for improvement, I'm always looking for those. Or if you have any questions, I'd love to answer people's questions. Any topics you think I should cover? Any uh, things you'd like to see me video or photograph? All of those would make fabulous comments. Also, please consider subscribing. All right, that about wraps it up. Thanks.